all day is a Japanese knife company. And we take plastic waste from the food chain and we melt it down into the handles for our knives. Plastic production, it's already at crazy heights, but it's set to travel by 2050. My name's Hugo, and I'm the founder of All Day. I, so I've been working in London as a chef since I was about 19. I, I always said like I want to stay close to the kitchens and stay working with chefs. That's my passion, and working with food. Um, so the kitchen knife was kind of the development from that. I had a friend that reached out to me and she said, would you, would you recommend a knife that's not 250 quid, but also not kind of a supermarket 20, 30 quid? And I said, like, to be honest, that doesn't really exist. And then I started to look into it and really like researching, actually, um, is this possible? Could we do this? I always said, if ever we were to start something, it would be to shine light on the plastic issues, because it's crazy, like you can't get around the plastic in the kitchens. So when I was looking at materials, for the kitchen knife and looking at materials for the handle, it was kind of a no-brainer from that experience that it would be using plastic waste. Whilst having a different knife every batch, we also have a different plastic source. So we look to the industry, the food chain, and we say, where are areas of it which needs help when we need to shed light and kind of raise awareness? And then we take the plastic from that and we use it in the handle. And through that batch of the three months, we're telling the story of that plastic, you know, how it's sourced, the issues that it has with the environment, um, and then kind of turning that into the handle. With anything, kind of as you start peeling back the layers, you start, you know, finding out more about how bad a situation and problem is. Plastic's already in the food that we eat, it's in the animals, um, it's, it's in 90% of the fish that we eat. Of all the plastic ever produced, only 9% has ever been recycled. You know, the, the, the situation is, is pretty bad. I think, like, cooking is such a fun thing. And it's, the, you know, there's so much entertainment in it. But I feel like cooking equipment and cooking and kitchen tools um, they don't really kind of showcase that within their products. So this knife, it's, it's really fun and it stands out and the idea to, to create a fun, colourful handle that really stood out kind of brings a bit of personality and character to the knives. The quality of the blade, uh, we wanted to make sure that it was a blade that would last forever. And we spent a really long time kind of sampling different knives. We found an amazing one in Osaka. That's a 103-year-old forge which has been going for forever and it's, it's just an incredible story. When I first showed someone, it was a, a chef friend of mine, one of the knives, um, she said that she could use it all day, every day. And then from there, that kind of stuck and that kit became like the heart of what we're about, is creating products that are for all day, every day. I'd love this knife to be um, like a reminder to the person using it of the issues that we face in the industry. Um, the handle could be made from the, the plastic waste that you've just had at the, at the supermarket that you've just shopped in. For me, it feels like less of a business and more of a project. I think for sure I'm going to always be working with recycled plastics. That's like a key part of the business. Um, I'd love to do kitchen tools and kitchen products um, and ranging outside of just knives to other equipment. The, the kind of the pillar of our business is recycled plastic and raising awareness for that. But where that will take us, we're not really sure at the moment.